My garbage person of the week has been in the can a couple of times, and that would be Chaya Reichik or Libs of TikTok. Wait until you see what she did to earn it this time. So she went on Twitter and effectively celebrated child abuse. That's the claim I'm gonna make. I'll show you the evidence and you can see whether you agree or disagree. So she reposted an Instagram reel and then you'll be able to see her caption. So here's the Instagram reel and she put based grandpa cuz she's very very cool again these right wingers are very cool and very hip don't ever forget it so what made the grandpa based well the clip doesn't show anything graphic but we're going to show you the actual clip so you can see what it is that Chai Rechik was so excited about Okay, so uh, assuming that the you know the, the caption there is true, and Chai Reichik obviously assumes that it is true, what happened is this young person asked their grandparent to use their preferred gender pronouns and was violently assaulted by them as a result of that, was put in a headlock and thrown to the ground. And Chai Reichik thinks that is awesome. She thinks that we would be better off if more grandparents were assaulting their grandkids for wanting to be treated with respect. And I would just like to say out of that, like the saying that Chai Reichik is garbage is not nearly enough to express what I think about her. Um, unfortunately, we have language filters being on linear TV and everything. Uh, she is one of the most enthusiastically terrible people alive in America, and she is advocating for absolutely reprehensible changes to our culture. Uh, that person that you saw in that video, is never going to trust their grandparent again. They are never going to feel comfortable around their grandparent again. What should be an incredibly important and enduring foundational family relationship has been ruined by the stupid boneheaded bigotry of that old person. We should all see that video as a personal tragedy. And to the extent that it is reflected in other people's experience, possibly a national and cultural tragedy. Instead, Chai Reichik thinks it's awesome. She thinks more grandkids, grandparents should assault their grandkids. I, I have a kid, my daughter Raina is 11 months old. And we don't have a lot of grandparents anymore, unfortunately. But my, my mom is around and spends time with my daughter. The idea that my mom would ever say anything disrespectful to my daughter, let alone put her in a headlock and throw her to the ground makes me sick to my stomach. And that's a, like hypothetical. Chai Reichik sees it and thinks it's awesome. She's absolute garbage. Mondel, what do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm this, listen, that, I, I can't stand Libs of TikTok. I don't, that, I don't understand why that's not banned already. And that, I, ugh, that's just yucky, like some form of bullying. And you're absolutely, dis, you're absolutely right about this grandparent. My, my niece actually came out a few years back and she came out on Facebook because she was afraid to come out because my, my parents are super churchy people, super churchy country black folk. And my mom was the first person to respond like, baby, we don't care about that, come home. Oh, okay. Like like, like that wasn't even the response she was expecting. And I think, you know, that is is e even like the fact that she was afraid to have that conversation with family, wanted to have it on, 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 on Facebook before she talked to my mom and my dad or anybody about it was, uh, was, was heartbreaking to me. Now to watch this video and for this young person to have to go through this as they, as they figure out uh, life, and 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 a step into who they really are, it, it becomes disgusting to know that your grandparent is responsible for choking you. Um and, and I mean like just just what the world's gonna do to you uh is is damn scary because as a black person, I have this wonderful uh protection of knowing that my family always understand when I say I had a bad day because I'm black. But for them to express to their grandparents about having a bad day because they are who they are, that has already been destroyed. Like you said, there, there's no trust. There's no comfort in that. There's no space, no safe space in your grandparent. And damn, I don't know what that feels like. It's just so absolutely sad. Like I, I like I, I, you know, it's gonna be a long time until we have to, until Raina can literally even talk, but she's gonna be like, it's almost impossible for me to imagine anything she could tell me that would cause me to have an issue with her. I mean, look, if she's not into board games, that's gonna be a problem, but we'll get past it if that happens. Um, but in terms of who she is, like I cannot, I, I can't speak for all parents or whatever. But like, I knew almost instantly after I had Raina, that is the purpose of my life. If I messed up that relationship, 
what am I what am I doing from here on out? And if I'm lucky enough to be alive for grandkids as well, which is going to be tough. We had Raina late in life and everything. The idea I would I will be on my best behavior to make sure that I don't say anything that gets me in trouble with them because that is the purpose of life is to have those relationships. And she's encouraging people. The right is always there to encourage people to mess up their families. They say that they're they love family, they focus on family. No, they are the party of awkward Thanksgivings. They are the party of force your conspiratorial BS on your on your family members. And, and thankfully on Twitter, we're not gonna read all the comments or whatever, but the the reaction to what Chai Rajik said was almost entirely uh, oppositional. It is supporting child abuse. That's all it is. Um, and so thankfully a lot of people were not a fan of it. And that's what you'd hope to see. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?